The Freedom Youth Foundation hosted the first ever foster care summit. Several foster care nonprofits shared what they do and some of their needs. The Department of Health and Welfare also attended, sharing their goals and hopes of collaboration. This is the first one where we all come together with the same heart, the same mind, and focus on making a difference specifically in foster care. Shane Hansen, the summit organizer and founder of the Freedom Youth Foundation, said coming together was overdue. The reason that it was so important to get the summit together was to get everybody that is working for foster youth together in a room to talk about our common goals and initiatives and challenges. We can build upon that every year. Year, but the first step is just doing it, hosting it, having the conversations. The summit began with the director of Idaho Health and Welfare sharing the journey the department has been on in the last six months, highlighting the changes that have already been made, such as shutting down short-term rentals and the increase in foster families, while also speaking on the work that needs to be done. It's going to take all of us working together. The department cannot do this alone. I want to be absolutely crystal clear on that. The department alone will not be successful. Through collaborations like this, that's where we will be successful. Each organization shared their mission statement and their current needs. Our last challenge there is lack of transitional housing. When teens age out, where are they going? It's experiences, it's community, it's communication, right? We need to double the amount of experiences that our current kids at our clubs have to retain them throughout the years. That's exactly what the goal is, is just to help and, and increase the momentum and support people and remove those barriers. The purpose of sharing was to have conversations about alignment and during the summit, each organization was able to offer up their own help or share resources to help bridge gaps. We host a hundred events a year and every single event has to be a logistical challenge. And now if we have a community partner that's willing to let us use their facility, that's a huge barrier that's removed so we can focus our energy elsewhere. God is opening incredible doors for us right now. Leaders of the nonprofit said the positive energy and commitment shown was overwhelming, calling it an incredible opportunity. I was challenged and inspired by every organization that shared today, and it was just beautiful to see how different needs are being met from Freedom Foundation, who focuses on sports, to the foster care furniture, the Freedom Youth Foundation is planning on making the summit a biannual event. They say now is the time to maximize impacts and make Idaho's foster care system a template for the country. Reporting in studio, I'm Savannah Hankert.